Namaste. Very warm and a very prosperous happy Yugadi to one and all to all the Sri Shankara TV viewers. Yugadi, as the name suggests, the day filled with happiness, brightness for the happy new beginnings and the prosperous new occasions of the year. So what is Yugadi? What is the science and the scientific relevance it holds? Why is this occasion all the more special to each one of us? What does this day and year has in store for each one of us? All this and much more will be shared by a very eminent personality. Here we have with us, with lot of pride and privilege, we would like to introduce you to Sri Supraja Rama Raman, the senior editor of the Astrological e-magazine here with us. Namaste sir, very happy and a prosperous Yugadi to you. Thank you very much. Uh, I wish all the viewers also a very happy and prosperous uh, Ugadi. Uh, very happy to be here with you. So, what, what is actually Ugadi? Why is this day so very special to each one of us? Now, traditionally Ugadi um, um, brings a lot of happiness and joy to people and it is actually known as the beginning of a uh, year. So, Ugadi is very uh, uh, loosely interpreted as beginning of the year, mm -hmm. but actually it's a uh, it's much more than that. This is one of the most supreme combinations that actually happens every year uh, continuously um, uh, f uh, for us as uh, human beings. Mm -hmm. uh, what actually happens is on the day of Ugadi, you know that you know we are in a solar system. Uh, the Earth moves around the uh, sun. Yes. The moon moves around the uh, Earth. The, so the heliocentric system of our galaxy. That's correct. Hmm. So uh, when when actually this happens, Ugadi basically falls on the Chaitra Masa, which is mm -hmm. roughly uh, March April time frame, and uh, Shukla Pratama. That's what we say. Uh, when the Earth moves around the Sun, it doesn't move in a circular object. It mm -hmm. actually moves in an elect elliptical object. Yes. So it's not a circular path. That means the distance between the Earth and the Sun, there's, it's not e equal always. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's very far. Sometimes it's very near. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, during this time, especially uh, during the time of Ugadi, what happens is the distance uh, between the sun and the earth is actually the average distance. So that it, it that means that it is neither too far nor too close. So if you take the extreme points of closeness and farthness and you average it out, mm -hmm. the distance of the earth is at its average point. Okay. okay. That's one important thing. Uh, now, because of this behavior, what happens is you will see that the day and the night are almost of equal lengths. Mm -hmm. So, if you look at it in December, you know, you have the nights to be longer and the days to be shorter. Whereas, if you look at it in June, the third or fourth week of June, you will see that the days are longer whereas the nights are shorter. But on the day of Ugadi, they are almost equal. The days and nights are almost equal. Mm -hmm. And third and most important thing is that we know that the um, earth actually you know it revolves around the axis right the axis is not straight it's actually tilted <laughs> right we've all learned it in school yes yes the the axis is actually tilted now uh, what happens is because the axis is tilted now if you imagine a line that extends from the center of the earth <laughs> and extends along the equatorial plane okay <laughs> so, so you like you'll get a one flat your flat plane and similarly when you actually imagine a similar plane uh, from the center of the uh, sun and extend it horizontally, mm -hmm. you will have two planes there. Now, because the earth is tilted, these planes, they do not actually uh, are in the same alignment, they are mm -hmm. in different alignments. As the earth goes around the uh, sun, what happens is it slowly starts varying. The planes okay. actually slowly starts varying. On the day of Ogadi, both these planes are okay. equally aligned. So that basically means, uh, this is actually the real meaning of Ugadi. Ugadi mm -hmm. comes from the word Yuj, meaning to unite. So when the two planes are in perfect alignment, there is a harmony wow. uh, thing. As I told you, the day and the night are of equal length. Again, there is harmony there. And the distance between the uh, earth and the sun is in, a, in its average position. That means the rays of the sun are in its most beneficial and supreme uh, manner. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's called union. And Adi is not really the beginning. Adi also means foremost, the supreme. Okay. So Yugadi actually means the supreme union that hap happens every year on this particular day. So that is the speciality of Ugadi. 
So if we actually see Yugadi is more of a pure science and mathematics rather than the traditional uh, what we have learned from childhood. No, traditionally it was actually uh, purely science. Uh, uh, I think off late, you know, the science has actually been uh, lost and people are only following the rituals. Mm -hmm. But the real uh, meaning is the supreme uh, union, you know, union that happens. Yes. And it's, it's, it's actually very beneficial to us. Uh, and when I say very beneficial to us, it actually helps us in three ways. One is, uh, um, spiritually it is a very good uh, phenomena for us. Mm -hmm. uh, the progress that happens during the time of Ugadi is phenomenal compared to every other day that is there. Broadly, there are four uh, 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 parts in the year, four uh, moments in the year mm -hmm. where spiritual progress gets accelerated. Okay. And one, one of the foremost uh, parts is Ugadi. Then on a physical plane, when I say uh, physical plane, be it the uh, human health or the mental health, mm -hmm. also it's very helpful. Mm -hmm. And it is also very helpful from a materialistic plane as well. So this is a time when you actually can plan certain things mm -hmm. and um, uh, you know, uh, actually go ahead and achieve some materialistic uh, comforts there. So Ugadi is one of the foremost festivals that is being observed, not from a celebratory perspective, Yes, celebration is also a part of the entire thing, but I think it is more uh, being celebrated because every living being, not just human beings, every living being mm -hmm. on planet Earth can actually benefit it from this cosmic alignment. Oh, wonderful cosmic alignment as what you mentioned. Uh, it is truly a merely a phenomenon of union of the best of the beneficial things for man and matter and everything which comes across. That's so correct. as spiritually what they say, we don't need to see the muhurtam for this particular day. Probably that explains uh, equally as to what you just contemplated on saying well, that. Well, partly in a colloquial you said yes, you don't need to see comforts, a muhurtam. But this beginnings. itself is a muhurtam and this muhurtam is a 24 hour muhurtam. Yes. So it's actually one of the best things that you can actually Mm -hmm. uh, get. So we all look forward for this beneficial day once a year. We celebrate it because it brings benefit to one and all. Yes. So uh, what speciality has this year in store for us, especially 2018 Ugadi? Mm. What is so much special about this occasion? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. So before I do that, there's a little bit of confusion uh, in terms of when Ugadi actually is. Okay. Uh, for example, some of the calendars publish it to be on the uh, uh, 18th, some people, some of the astrologers, they have publicly said said that it is on 17th. Some of the Purohits say it is on 19th. So there has been a lot of uh, 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 misnomers here. Mm -hmm. As I told you, it's a very celestial, uh, celestial combination. So it has a mathematical precision to it. So Ugadi starts on the 17th of March at in the evening at 6:42 p.m. Okay. And it ends on 18th of March at 6:32 p.m. Okay, so, so for the Indian standard time. This that is, is yes, what? for the Indian, Indian standard <laughs> time. Um, and uh, for all practical purposes, what we say is that you, you can observe Ugadi for maximum benefit. Mm -hmm. You can observe it on the 18th. Okay. Now this year, uh, every year, you know, there is a particular name given to it because, you know, this is wave theory mm -hmm. specifically with regard to time. So, okay. there's, uh, so uh, there basically there are 60 uh, uh, years that we take as a cycle and every year a new name is given depending on the behavior of certain natural phenomena. Okay, the name of Samvatsaras. Samvatsaras, <laughs> we call it as Samvatsaras, very <laughs> correct. So last time it was Hemalamba, so this time it is known as Vilamba. What is in store for each one of us, we'll definitely get to know in a short while before which we just get into a short commercial break. Sure. Dear viewers, Yugadi's special program, The Science, Significance and the Relevance of Yugadi will be just in some time back after the sh very short commercial break. <laughs> 